A new function has been added to Paramel 9 for internal thread milling. Here we've got a part with a single hole feature in the centre. Now if I just display the block, I've purposely created only half a block and what I will do to show this function simulated more easy, I will simulate the NC program that I currently have. So let's go into view mill and I will use a rainbow shaded image and press play. Because I simulated from the NC program, ViewMill will simulate all toolpaths within that NC program, preparing the part ready for thread milling. OK, so let's just go back to the standard image and under batch toolpaths I've got a drilling toolpath preset up for thread milling. Here we can see cycle type thread milling. On the expert area of the form I have some additional parameters. Here we have unique lead in and lead out specifically for thread milling. Here I can define whether I want to cut a right hand or a left hand thread. And down at the base here, I d can determine whether we will post process a CAN cycle. If this is switched off, then I am able to switch on 2D radius cutter compensation. If it's switched on, then I cannot. So I need to have the feature selected. I'm going to put a pitch in between threads of 4 millimeters and apply. Let's close and close. The toolpath has been created. Let me simulate it from the start. Go back to the rainbow shaded image and press play. And as you can see, the thread has been cut. Now in this particular instance, I'm using a special tool. I've predefined a routing tool to make the simulation more realistic. You do not need to use this type of tool because it can be time consuming to create. You can simply use an end mill and it will work just exactly the same, only the simulation will not look so realistic.